So I wasn't actually going to film any of this because I really thought that I would put them together and within the first few minutes they would fight and squeak like crazy. I really do not expect this to go anywhere, or I didn't. But they've been together for about 15, 20 minutes. You're not going out. Thank you. Literally, there hasn't been a sound. Like, and, and there's been no displays, there's been no chasing. If you guys have seen the videos where I was bonding Peep, or trying to bond her, you know that she is a squeaker. She is the squeakiest animal I've ever had. Leto has done some squeaking too, when she was introduced to Pyrrha. So I've really been just expecting a whole squeak fest, but literally... nothing. Now I'm honestly wondering if these guys have a future together. I'm just really impressed, especially with Peep. She's been so odd in the past, and now she just seems so calm and confident. I wonder if part of that is that she's been alone. She's been a single mouse for a long time now. So Leto's actually grooming herself, which is a great sign when your mice are comfortable enough in the presence of a stranger to groom themselves, because it's a vulnerable position. So I've been having a conversation with my friend about why Leto's hair looks the way it does. And he says it looks like an unkempt mouse, like she hasn't been grooming, so her hair is kind of oily. That is a common sign of a mouse who is depressed or stressed. Oh my goodness, are you trying to groom her? She could also be losing some fur and that's why she looks kind of pink. Um, that could be because she's old or because of the season change, you know. The fact that she started grooming almost immediately when she was put in with Peep is really cute. <laughs> she looked a lot like this when I first got her and she'd been kept alone for months. So I wonder if this is kind of a stress response for her. Um, when she's alone, she feels stressed and depressed, and so she stops grooming. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow, I have never... Like, they literally haven't been together 20 minutes. So that was a submissive pose from Peep, asking to be groomed, which is really interesting because when she was with Pyrrha, she was such a dominant mouse, and that's why there were all those problems. She keeps doing that, like putting her head down by her, and she's nervous. <laughs> she's got her eyes closed. <laughs> oh, great. Sit on her head. That's, that's real nice, Peep. I put both their wheels in here and Peep is literally trying them both out. She keeps going from one to the other. It's hilarious. She's mad. I'm still shocked I haven't heard a single squeak. I knew the wheels would get somebody riled up. Gentle. Peep, if you let her actually ride the wheel, there wouldn't be any fighting. Yeah, you take her wheel, Leto. Take her wheel. just loves sharing wheels. Oh my gosh, like she will not let her go on the wheel by herself. Peep. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you.
They've been living together since last night. I tried to have a third bonding session and they were not having it. They were perfectly fine with each other, but they just did not want to be in that bin anymore. So I was like, okay, let's do a test. And I took most of the stuff out of this cage, put them in it. There was absolutely no aggression from Leto at all. So I put stuff back in and they didn't make a sound all night or all day. And so yeah, that's a good ending. I hope it continues like this and just gets better. I just saw them snuggling in the hammock together, so that's awesome. Thank you guys for watching this process. It went way faster and easier than I ever imagined. Please subscribe if you're not already, and we will see you in our next video. Bye!